Hi, in the last videos, we looked at how to implement different authentication methods in our API. So in this particular video, I'll show you how to play around with some of the functionalities. Like, um, let's say you have an endpoint which receives um, some data or it's basically a callback that you are using somewhere on uh, a third party application and maybe you don't want to do authentication for that particular server so how do you do that so e2 provides um, a simple way to do that through the the okay what's the name again the auth method so the auth method which we have as you might have seen, it has been implemented by all the different uh, authentication method. It has this accept property, which basically helps you um, exclude the different actions in your controller that you don't want to, um, that, that should not be included in the specific authentication method. So let's look at how that works. In my case, I had already done the composite authentication. So just for purpose of this video, I'll again just comment it out and let's use a very basic one. So let's assume we have a bearer, we are using bearer authentication and we want to exclude um, the index. Let's introduce a new um, endpoint here. So function, then um, action is what action is typically test. Okay. So public function that. I just want this to return a message that says we want okay so let's test that before we do anything okay remove this this product and then test so this is just to ensure that it's returning the actual valid configuration of the Challenge, let me see. Authenticator, oh, okay. Mm. What's the problem? Public function action test. There we go. So you can see this one is returning a simple message. Now, what I want us to do is to reintroduce the authentication part. So when we do reintroduce the bearer authentication, then try to access this, you'll notice that it will throw an authorization uh, error. So I want us to exclude this particular uh, action from authentication and the way you do that is just by specifying this uh, configuring this property and then providing the id so this is how you do it except then um, in this case you need to provide an array so the first one is test okay so when we try that, we should now be able to access our endpoint without providing the access token, or I mean the bearer token for this matter. So you can see there's no auth, and also in this case, we've disabled this. So that's how to handle the accept uh, property in your API configuration. See you in the next video.